In this tutorial, you'll learn how to design a simple wooden keychain engraved with text and or an image. Not dissimilar to the paper bookmark tutorial, our keychain will be a simple cutout shape. However, because we're going to be using wood, we can also engrave. Remember, an engraving is like a print or a brand that is burned into the material. And since wood burns nicely, like this image, the result is usually quite pleasant. So let's start with a shape. Any will do. I'm going to use a rectangle. So I'm going to click and drag, keeping in mind that I put my keys in my pocket, so I probably don't want any sharp edges. Um, whatever shape you choose, you'll be able to adjust the edges or corners by using the controls over here in the appearance uh, menu on the right hand sidebar. So I want a rounded rectangle. That looks pretty good. If I tried another shape, let's say a star. Again, you can change the corners on the star too so it wouldn't be sharp. Um, once I've decided on my shape, I'm going to resize it. If you have a ruler handy, go ahead and measure the width of your palm. I don't recommend keychains wider than the width of your palm unless that's what you're going for. I'm going to set my dimensions to a height of one inch and a width of three. Now let's make a hole for our key ring. I'm going to go back up to my tool, uh, shape tools, grab the ellipse, click and drag a circle, and I'm going to resize that to about a quarter inch, 0.25. And then I'm going to zoom in and position it centered along the left hand side here. Now, when I unclick, because I left them both uh, just as fills it, filled in, um, I can't see them both. So I'm going to select, get rid of my fills, and add a border of red because this is my shape that will be cut out. Now let's add some text and images for engraving. I'm making this as a gift for a friend who really likes soccer, so I'm going to engrave their name and an image of a soccer ball. Let's start with the text first. I'm going to grab my text tool, click and drag a text box, and add my text. When it's selected, I can come over to the appearance um, options on the right-hand sidebar, and I can modify the font. Because we're engraving, it can be any font, even a really thin, scripty one. Um, but I want this to be really visible, and so a thicker, darker font um, is, is going to be what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this Passion 1. Um, the only other thing in here that really matters right now for adjustments is the spacing. If I wanted to change the spacing of my letters, if I wanted the letters to, to span farther, um, I'd want to add that in here now. But I think I'm just going to keep it as it is. Then we're going to take this text um, path or um, layer and turn it into a path. So modify path, convert to path. Now I can take this text path and I can modify the width and the height. So I'm going to lock it because I don't want it to, to move around too much. And I'm going to go 0.5 for my height. And I'm going to move it so it's right, lines up right in the center. Great. And if I shift it over a little, that gives me enough room on the right side to put a soccer ball. You'll notice I'm keeping the letters black filled because that's an engraving. I'm not giving it any border right now. I'm just keeping it filled. So let's go ahead and look for that soccer ball. I'm going to look for a soccer ball silhouette. And this really depends on your, on your own personal preference. Um, when looking for images like this one, you can see that there's some watermarks over it. That wouldn't be great, so I'm not going to use that one. I do like this one, simple lines. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it and save the image to my computer. And it is a JPEG, which is good. And then I'm back in Grab It, and I'm going to import it. So 
So it came in and it's giant. I don't really have to worry about the size right now, but I will just so I can see it more on the screen. And as an image, I can't do anything to it yet. I can't laser cut it. So I have to modify, I have to turn it into a, a vectored path. And it blew it up and that's okay. We'll resize it again. <laughs> and what's important here when we look at this is that you'll see that the, um, might be hard to see, but it does have white around the corners. We need to get rid of that. So I'm going to ungroup, oops, ungroup it. Once it's ungrouped, I'm gonna come in and I, I find those snow layers that are just the corners. And I can even select them and delete. Oh, when I deleted that, I lost a white part up here. So with this layer, I'm going to split the path now I have two, and that's just the corner piece, and I can delete it. And then it looks like both of those corner pieces are together. Great. So now I deleted all the corner pieces, and the rest of the white, the snow parts, are part of the ball that I need. So I'm going to keep them. And these dim gray, well, I'm going to keep them too, because what I'm really going to do is come down and grab all of the soccer ball components, grouped them all, and then I'm gonna resize them so it will fit onto my keychain. And that is really tiny. Let's see if we can make it a little bigger. Maybe a little bit smaller. There, I like that, that looks great. Now we're ready to save. Remember, it's your name, the project title, and the material. So my name, keychain, and wood. Once it's saved, we can export it and then submit it for fabrication. Now here's a pro tip. Add a blue border to your engraved elements when using wood, like our design file on top, and you'll get a crisp edge on your final product.